I've found here yet. Walking around the courthouse today in Roswell, New Mexico. This is the Chavez County Courthouse. I'm reminded of the Torah, the first five books of the Bible. These are your law books and the great history books. Of God giving Moses the Ten Commandments. All the things Jesus completed in the New Testament, basically. <laughs> Not basically, it is. All the things that Jesus completed in the New Testament. I'm reminded that we need law. We need order. God is a very orderly God. He doesn't just do things chaotically or haphazardly. So it reminds me that we need law in our personal lives. So, a big shout out to all those that serve, both in county, city, country, maybe even across oceans for our country. Big thank you to each of you that serve. We're so appreciative of what each and every one of you do. How good is God to give us people to help us, to help decide and judge, keep us safe, protect us? There are times in my life I can't seem to get things right I just can't seem to get ahead I feel life's an uphill fight It's these times I found my blessings Cause I've got down on my knees And prayed with the Spirit to my God And my Lord has answered me On my knees question comes from Ron Davis from Snyder, Texas. Shout out to Ron. It says, my question is, if someone wanted to follow after your footsteps and get out on the road full time, would you recommend it? Well, that is a long answer to that question because if your calling is not into the ministry, not into the ministry nationally and full time, then no, I would not recommend you coming to do this. There's a lot of attacks from Satan that we get out here on the road and a lot of praying and this really has to be a God thing if you're doing this. Now that being said, if it is your calling, if it is God telling you to get out on the road nationally full time, telling other people about Jesus, then yes, you should do it because there's so many blessings from it. But if it's not your calling, then you're not going to have those blessings and you're not going to have God backing you when you're doing it. You need to make sure that you're praying. You need to make sure that you're in a good godly church that's following and studying the Bible. You need to be studying the Bible yourself. Uh, pray, pray, pray. I can't say pray enough. You need to be seeking what God's calling is for your life. Now, if God is telling you that this is your calling, then yes, get out there. If not, then you need to be seeking and asking God what is your specific calling and what you he wants you to be doing for him for your life when you find your specific calling that's when the blessings start coming in following God's rules that's when blessings come in you've already established if you've already accepted Jesus as your savior you've already established that relationship and you're a child of God the next step needs to be studying and seeking God's will for your life. Thanks y'all. Tune in again next week for another answer. 
You can reach us at our websites, heathersmithmusic.com or hrsministry.com. If you want to submit your question, just click on the contact form and uh, fill out your question. Let us know whether you want us to shout your name out on social media or not. Uh, if you want to follow us on social media, you can look up HRS underscore ministries on Twitter, Instagram. We're on Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. Follow us on any one of them. You can also check us out. If you need to send us an email, you can email that to info at hrsministry.com. Keep the questions coming, y'all. We'll keep coming up with answers. So I'm here today at the Chavez County Courthouse, located in Roswell, New Mexico, the county seat for Chavez, and they have a museum here in their courthouse, and it's really cute, y'all. It's awesome history about the county and law, and if you're really into Billy the Kid, many of you might uh, know that this is where Pat Garrett was from and sent out of to dispatch of Billy the Kid. More on that in one of our next videos. Hey y'all, coming to you from the Chavez County Courthouse Museum. And I'm here testifying or reporting, or maybe I'm witnessing one of the three because I am on the stand. And this is where you would come to defend your honor or maybe testify, be a witness, report something to the court. Maybe you might be here to uh, be questioned. Here beside me is a book, one of their records, and it's all the way back to 1894. Isn't that cool? Done in pencil. Oh, and look, here's something else. <coughs> So if you're from Texas and New Mexico, you know what this is. But you might not if you're from Florida, because this is a spittoon. <laughs> and that's pretty gross, I'm putting that down now. <laughs> so I'm not sure, uh, maybe they were, evidently they were allowed to spit. Maybe they were allowed to smoke, who knows? <laughs> but this room is filled with neat information and amazing history about law and law enforcement and Anything that you want to know about Chavez County and what went on historically, you could start right here at the courthouse in Chavez County, Roswell, New Mexico. Worship the flower, worship the sun, worship the whole one. So learn from David's story, the Savior must be so. on their courthouse lawn. Uh-huh. Doing it right in Roswell, New Mexico. God bless Chavez County for standing up for God. Some friends with good intentions see a marriage near its end. Try to tell the young woman Let's not pretend This ship you're in is full of holes Get out while you can It's sinking in the water But she still takes her stand This here statue is called Ride to Destiny The statue is depicting Pat Garrett 
full name is Patrick Floyd Jarvis Garrett. So in July of 1881, Pat Garrett rode out and met Billy the Kid at the nearby Maxwell Ranch of Fort Sumner. And that night, around midnight, July 14th, he met and dispatched Billy the Kid with a single bullet through the heart, an incident which often haunted him for the rest of his life. This statue is the only known recognition of his services as an early lawman. So Pat Garrett was buried in Las Cruces, New Mexico. His grave even simply bears a simple stone engraved Garrett. Not only did Pat Garrett become the legendary lawman that dispatched Billy the Kid, he was also a great rancher. He helped agribusiness. He was a financial man, honorable man. He had a desire to become a gentle farmer. He became a principal in large water project which purposed using dams and canals to move water throughout the lower Pecos Valley. He was partially successful in boosting agribusiness for the area, but he was not financially able to meet the requirements of the project and he had to return to law enforcement, politics, and horse trading. A legendary man who went down controversially after being shot in the back. This tablet is erected in memory of Dr. Robert Hutchings Goddard, who here laid the foundations for the science of rocket propulsion. He used this tower from 1930 to 1942 for launching liquid propellant rockets to develop a means for exploring extreme altitudes. Lights. And I'll never forget Twin Falls, born on February mornings. It's what you didn't say that left me without warning. say 